I'm a It's a bad man thing What's up loves? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Wigs to Wayseth here back with another quick how to. And today this is going to be on how to fix a messed up frontal. We have all been there and if you are new to wigs and you would love to know how to fix your wig from looking like this to this, then go ahead and keep watching. All right, love. So here we are back again with another quick wig show and tell. And I think we will just hop right into this. So if you are interested in the unit, definitely check out clayee.com. Their information will be in the description box down below. And this is the unit that they sent me, boo boo. And this is, of course, a frontal unit. So you do have this lovely, lovely frontal parting space. I did go ahead and plug and tweeze. Um, I'm sorry, I did go ahead and bleach the knots and I also tinted the lace on this wig. I did not pluck the hairline on here. I wanted to see just kind of first impression what we're dealing with. And here is what the parting space is looking like so far. Really giving you that scalp, girl. <laughs> and I do have a couple of combs in the unit. So we have two combs right here. And then there's one in the middle and then one in the back with adjustable straps. So let's put her on. So I'm not gonna show too much detail on how I cut the lace on my frontals. Um, there are plenty of videos where I do show that. But for the most part, this wig parting space is pretty bomb, girl. Um, actually really pleased with how the um, frontal part turned out once I bleached the knots and of course tinted the lace. Really gives that scalp-like appearance. Now, I will say for this unit, I do wish we had more parting space. A little petty with the parting space, but... What can you okay, do? <laughs> so here we are with this unit cut. So I think now all we have to do, hopefully, <laughs> is just apply this to my head. Um, so we're just gonna make it do what it do. So I did use some got to be glue gel and of course some free spray along my hairline before I did apply this frontal. And this is my number one issue with the got to be glue gel is this white residue that remains after you put your frontal on. Very hard to fix, but- I'm gonna do something I'm sure you guys have seen many times before. I'm just gonna go in with some alcohol on a cloth and I'm just gonna clean up that white residue. So this part is a little tricky. You do have to keep in mind that you do not want to soak through the lace because then of course your frontal will lift. So you do want to go very light on the alcohol, then of course apply more as needed. And here I'm just using my scissors to hold down that frontal and move the hair away from my hairline. This is actually gonna help us make it look a little bit more natural. We definitely don't wanna be walking around with them crusty edges, girl. <laughs> so um, if you are team baby hair, or even if you do like your edges gelled down, then definitely do you. This is no shade to anyone. Um, but for me in particular, and I say this every time, <laughs> It looks more natural to me when it's just kind of fly away or, you know, more dry and not necessarily um, gel down on the side of my head. So here I'm just using my toothbrush. I did dip it in a little bit in some alcohol just to take away that gel that was on the hair. I am cutting very some very light 
um, layers in the edges of this frontal. So nothing too dramatic. And you definitely want to do short strokes when you do use your scissors. And that's for any type of trimming on your hair. You do not want to just snip um, because you then will get a blunt cut. So I'm going to be using this uh, Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm going in with this color here. I do not know the name off the top of my head. And I'm going to apply this along the hairline. This is going to help blur that frontal lace. And it's also going to help get rid of the rest of that white residue. Now I will admit on camera and because of my lights, it is coming off just a tad bit shiny. You can somewhat see the lace and I promise you that's only because of my lighting. But once this dries and it just settles in, it literally looks like scalp. Girl, trust me on this. Um, so here I'm just applying some water and of course I'm just going to gel down some really subtle baby hairs and voila baby. Here is the finished look for this unit and overall pretty pleased with this hair. Um, I will say what I didn't mention. I do wish that the hair was just a little bit fuller, but you guys know me. I'm extra AF. I love my bundles. So I really wanted to do another one of these videos because I've noticed that a lot of you aren't comfortable plucking the hairline and it's stopping you from slaying these wigs, boo. I'm still somewhat new to these frontal wigs, so don't get me wrong, I make, my st I make mistakes, as you saw with my left side, which would not let me be great. Subtle things that you can do to definitely tweak it and make it your own. Now, you will, of course, have to do your own little maneuvering to get it to look as natural as you can very pleased no real issues with tangling or shedding and um the hair itself has held up really really good and when i tell you i've put this hair through the ringer i've put it through the ringer it has been tossed so many times before i did this review and the curls actually stayed in place so i'm um, very pleased with miss clay e hair so if you guys are interested in a unit, definitely check out their information in the description box down below. I would love to get your input. So if you guys are interested in more, you know, beginner friendly how to's, then definitely leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, of course, share the video, share the channel, share the love. Let's make sure you guys wear it with confidence and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.